While working on an app for a client, I got a last minute request to allow users to tap on an image to enlarge it. I did a little bit of searching online to find a way I could quickly implement this feature, but was actually surprised not to find very many solutions. I did end up solving this problem, and I thought I should make a tutorial in case any others are trying to solve the same problem and suffering from the lack of resources. There's a lot to this app, but I'm just going to focus on the one tap to focus uh, or tap to zoom feature that I'm teaching today. Now, I've already implemented this on all of the images in my app, but I got a last minute request from the client to um, implement it on a few new images, like add some new stuff in. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll kind of teach you guys how I do it through that, you know, through the process. I'll lead you through as I do this. So first thing, I need to obviously get the images in. Um, so we're going to put a new image view onto this uh, view controller here. This is kind of sloppy. I will worry about formatting and stuff later. That doesn't really doesn't really have anything to do with the uh, the tutorial today. So this is the app. Uh, this is the picture that we want them to be able to tap to zoom, right? All right, once we have the picture in, another thing that we need to add is the tap gesture recognizer. So you'll go to this uh, plus menu up here and just type in tap and you should get a tap gesture recognizer. Uh, what you want to do is drag it into this little gray bar up at the top here. It's kind of uh, finicky, but what you have to do is just kind of get it in the right spot where you see that kind of blue bar appearing. Like it's going to be added to this stack of all the tab gesture recognizers I already have. Speaking of which, all those tab gesture recognizers that I have, which by the way, I see it overflowed, so it's right here. Um, in my experience, I had to do a separate tap gesture recognizer for each image in the view controller. So there might be another way around this, but... Um, this is what worked for me. Maybe speak out in the comments if you can give us all some advice on how to do it with a singular tap gesture recognizer, or maybe this is just the right way to do it. Okay, so uh, the it added into my stack right here on the left, uh, on the far left. So this is the new tap gesture recognizer. I was able to tell just because it's not referencing anything over here in this uh, little references or outlet menu. Um, in order to link the image to your tap gesture recognizer, what you want to do is attach it to this referencing outlet collection. So you would control and drag from that little dot over to your image. Oh, whoops. Control and drag, sorry. And then you have to actually click on gesture recognizers. And now they're linked together. Now we're ready to move into the code for your view controller here you're going to need a uh, a custom view controller class i'm assuming that you already have that we're going to use these two functions that i created here uh, to actually create the interaction you can type it out yourself which i recommend or go to my website and paste it from there so we're just going to start from the top here um, this obviously is the um, the function itself the the action here what we're doing is creating uh, a reference to our sender which would be the the image view the the picture that we originally tapped or that the user tapped right next we are creating uh, a new image view which is going to be that picture uh, but full screen right it's going to be zoomed in these next few lines here are kind of setting um, the attributes for it so um, we are creating uh, the size of it. Uh, we are giving it like a background color. So there's just going to be black like borders on any part of the screen. It can't fill, right? You can you can customize all these things to how you want. Uh, we're setting it to scale, you know, to fit the aspect ratio, right? And uh, importantly, setting user interaction um, enabled because we're going to have it so that when they tap it again, it will back them out right that's something that you see in the next line here we're creating another tap gesture recognizer um, and we are actually giving an action which is another method down here you'll see which we are going to be calling uh, when they tap it so this is going to be the method that backs us out and takes us back to this view with all the pictures right 
we add that tap gesture recognizer onto our new image view and then we add the image view onto ourself which which is this this uh, storage shed view controller right uh, the last thing here is setting the navigation bar to hidden so the navigation bar is this thing up here since we're trying to do a full screen picture here we just have that disappear they don't need the back button anyways right because we're having it so they can tap to back out and this is important so that you know it doesn't cut off the very top of your image or something like that this objective C function down here is the function that uh, we added on to our tap our new tap gesture recognizer we just created through code right um, this basically just has two simple lines um, this line here just dis deletes the view uh, or removes it from su the super view so it's basically going to back them out uh, this one right here turns the navigation bar back on so that we are you know back to zero here we're back to normal the last step is actually connecting the tap gesture recognizer to this image tap function so we're going to go back to our storyboard here if you remember this right here is our tap gesture recognizer you can double check just by seeing you know you hold your mouse over here and it will kind of highlight the uh, the particular image so yeah this is our tap gesture recognizer pretty simple to just drag it over to our view controller right here uh, control and drag control drag and then you have a bunch of options but see image tap one is one of your sent actions that you can choose so you click that if you're ever unsure whether or not they're linked and you don't want to actually do a build to test it, you can see it has a little dot, a bullet point next to it now. That means that they're, they're linked. So let's try building this to our simulator. All right, looks like we got no bugs. Which one was this on? This is on the storage shed, right? Storage shed, yep, here's a new picture. Oh, no. We missed something, and I think I know exactly what it is. All right, we're going to stop that build. Now we click on our image. Over here, there is something we need to turn on. User interaction enabled on this image. So because the user was not able to interact with this image, uh, they were not able to trigger the tap gesture recognizer, obviously, right? So that is something I have done a million times, and uh, we're going to fix it right now. All right, round two storage shed click on the image see here you go we got a full screen image you click on it and it disappears there's a ton of different things you can mess with here uh, in order to customize this to your liking one thing that I probably would like to add onto mine later is maybe a pinch uh, gesture recognizer pinch gesture recognizer you know maybe you could add one of those in to where you could pinch the zoom even further on the image that kind of stuff but this just gives you a good little baseline that you can start out with to get some basic functionality of zooming in on images and just go from there so thank you very much for checking out my youtube channel and uh... let me know if you have any other questions i try to be active in the comments and help people out with their uh... their programming tutorial or yeah with their projects so thanks guys